in one ear and out the other. It's true, isn't it? Lots of us can't remember what happened 20 minutes ago, let alone yesterday. But some of us just have convenient memories. We forget what actually happened so we can pretend in a way that's more convenient for us. As you watch this video on Johnson versus State, what do you make of Reginald Taylor's memory? On October 26, 1995, Taylor signed a police statement describing the murder he'd witnessed the day before. The statement fingered Arnold E. Johnson as the killer. But months later, when Johnson was on trial for murder, Taylor said he couldn't remember whether what he'd told the police accurately recounted what happened on October 25th. Even after the prosecutor made Taylor read his eyewitness statement, Taylor said he still couldn't recall the October 25th incident, though he acknowledged that it would have been still fresh in his mind on October 25th. At that point, the prosecutor introduced the October 25th statement as admissible hearsay evidence because it was Taylor's recorded recollection of the October 25th events. Johnson was convicted and sentenced to death. On appeal to the Texas Criminal Appeals Court, Johnson argued that Taylor's statement was inadmissible because the prosecutor hadn't established every element of the recorded recollection hearsay exception. 